I'm here with a baby haul clip. This is a Planet Hannah order. I think I have one more open or two more open. I have just been on a buying spree. So you got your little journaling card in here. And then I also have the freebie. So this is my freebie. If you use the code, I have always had it down below. It's like Andrea 10 question mark. Or put SBC in the notes, Andrea in the notes. If she is having a sale, you will get this freebie. My freebie is changing out soon. I don't know if it'll be by the time this video is up. I always have it posted on my Instagram. So if you're on to see, it's on there. But this one is kind of like goes with the current bundle that we have up and we have a new bundle coming out soon so i'm very excited about that and then this is the all orders freebie for april which is bestie squad so it says hang out with and bestie date and was inspired by me and hannah's sissy so then there was also this one which i think is like this 50 dollar freebie i'm not sure skill prince co matte freebie and then let's get into my order. <clears throat> first things first is I did order the font swatches. And I do have like my current setup of Plana Hanna. Oh my gosh, this probably took so long to do. Plana Hanna like foil, bun foil binder, but I'm gonna actually be redoing it. I think I might do a whole video. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing. And I'm going to use these to kind of do up my Plana Hanna. Um, it's, it's more, it's also fun for us. I do have some other shops in there as well, but it's mostly Plana Hanna. So um, Plana Hanna album and re and use those. My words are not making a sense today. Then, then I got something that I can't show you in the font of the month for last month um, because of the foil color. But just let me tell you, excellent. Then I do have, this is my um, like mixed sheet and this is in hollow or not hollow. Oh my God. In rainbow. And it's funny because Hannah was like, oh, I had an extra spot on a sheet. So I just made this for you in rainbow. And I was like, because I needed it. I don't think I told you I needed it. And she's like, no, I just made it. And I'm like, I actually needed this. And I ordered this in my next order. So I'm excited because I think I ordered multiple of it. So this just has a bunch of scripts that I am like pretty likely to use on the weekly. Super, super excited to have it in rainbow because I'm going to be using it with the birthday spread that you'll probably have seen before this goes up. Then I got a bunch of stuff for kids. So let me go ahead and let me separate everything and then I'll show you what the ideas were. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. For kids and then for other things. So let me pair it all out. So first thing that I got was the GTL Jersey Shore quotes. I thought this would be cute just to put with like a regular um, kit. But I also, wait, am I going to use? I might bring home GTL and use it in my pre-planner. So I got it in silver. I thought that'd be very, very cute. And then I picked up the font of the month for last month in the months in the sparkly gold which is similar but a little bit warmer than my champagne lights but i'm going to put this with champagne lights because i don't have any champagne lights um months i don't think so i am just going to put those these in that binder so that i have them for whenever i need months for a champagne lights spread and again that's her pixie gold i keep showing you things that i can't show you it's gonna be hard to edit but anyways I got something else in that font that I, I mean in that color that I can't show you and then for me and Hannah booked a last minute trip to Disney we're both using Batu Bound and I am going to be using the um, confetti matte bronze matte silver and I wanted to get a couple of things to pair with that. So I did get the Galaxy underlays. And I thought what I could do is for the matte bronze ones, use matte silver underlays. And then for the matte silver, use matte bronze underlays underneath to get the mixed metal look. And then I also picked up this, which is the dark side um, bottom washi. And I'm going to do a manual mixed metal with these. And I think that'll be really, really cute with this kit think this is a really cute combo hannah's going like completely different with her combo so i feel like there's just so many combos that would look cute with this spread i don't think lila's gonna nap today which i think is giving me anxiety 
and is making me kind of like lose my train of thought. Also for Nick's mom's birthday, I initially was going to use, I think, silver or gold with this, but then the font of the month, I mean, not the font of the month, the foil of the month came out, and this is like a confetti gold, and I think that these underlays go perfect with it, which is groovy checker. So I thought this would be a really fun, like, pairing, and I'm also going to pick up some more things. I think I'm going to pick up the flower bottom wash. I'm probably going to mix this with just, like, regular gold. I don't know if I have anything regular gold anywhere near me. I do. I think this would go good with regular gold um, or champagne lights, like I said with the other one. They're, these are very similar, too, if you wanted to do some of the font of the color of the month. And let's say you need something later to pair with it that you're like, oh, I don't can't get it. I would get the pixie gold. I think that'd be a good combo. Um, but I'm going to get the flower bottom washi overlays, like the ones that would be like this. And then I am going to pick up, I think, just like confetti corners, question mark, in that as well. I haven't like fully decided yet, but I know I wanted to use those underlays with it. I think that that like really bright gold is going to pop against those colors. And then with this kit here, I did just also pick up the shark bottom washi. I am using the burgundy like blood splatter type underneath, but I thought having these with just like maybe confetti regular would be really cute. And then also to go with this kit, I was looking at like underlays and I thought that this would be cute. The cobblestone because it kind of gives like backyard vibes and I got it in silver to go with um, fun in the sun. And then last but not least, it's so funny because I'm like putting away my whole entire order. The last but not least, I also did pick up for this, which you will have seen the reveal by now. And if you got it, you probably will have it in hand already. But for the Haunted Mansion kit, which was the freebie kit, I am so excited to be using this. I'm using this like ASAP for the movie. I really love, I don't remember what color this is. If you want to know, just leave me a comment down below. I feel like you could go with the darker purple, but I feel like, let me show you. Make some. I'll show you quick, 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 quick. I feel like the purple goes with this purple really, really well. And then the light blue for the overlay. So I did the mansion underlays. And then I feel like you could even do like black bougie on top of this to kind of tone it down if you wanted to. And then the mansion overlays in like the like light ice blue. I think that's gonna be really fun over top and make them pop. But yeah, that was everything that I picked up in my plan of Hannah order. Okay, so I have some print impression things to show you. So it all came in this beautiful box. And I'm actually going to be giving this away on Instagram. So I, it might already be up, I'm not sure. But this is an example of the subscription that Kane has going. This would be the B6 version. So this month came with this gorgeous, like, it's like the, like, is it called like epi leather or something? I don't remember. But it's gorgeous navy. Ugh, I love this. I feel like this definitely gives me like Amanda vibes. My friend Amanda would love this. So this is the B6 gorgeous beautiful everything we love her and then it also comes with some like extras so this is like the kind of like set up your planner little stash of stuff so it came with a little life's changes you can put this in a pocket it came with a bunch of scroll prints co stickers so you have some check marks some icons circle icons and date numbers and check boxes there's a better is coming and this little um just like checklist of priorities. There is a how to plan your day on this really nice linen paper, a acetate with some lemons, a vellum with this gorgeous pattern on it. And then it has a little kind of like a top three daily type situation. You have your top three additional tasks, your daily like list, events, notes, time, end time, etc. I just think this is a really fun way to try out new things every month which is kind of like a little taste it's not like you're getting a whole like setup but it'll just be a nice thing to add to your planner setup and get a gorgeous planner as well so again i'm going to be giving this little set away on instagram i'm going to put it back in the box for safekeeping and then i also have some things here as well the first thing i think this was also a month and he just sent me like what would have been the extras for it. Like not the planner, but just like the stationery pack. So if you want to win this, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite 
Hmm. What your favorite planner size is? That'd be a good one. So the be the energy you want to attract. Be good. Be bad. Just be your energy is sacred. I love the tie dye. Again, some more Scroll Friends Co. stickers. Very functional. You have this gorgeous. Hold on, wrong way. You have this gorgeous weekly planning insert. I love that. Ooh, this one's this one would be very useful for me. I love this habit weekly main objectives and a little grid. This would be perfect for like weekly to do's and then like my listings and stuff. Love that. Love the 2023 on the front and the tie dye on the back. And then you also have this really pretty dashboard that says the goal is to with someone you take serious. The goal is to laugh forever with someone you take seriously. Love that. On linen again, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. And then also a acetate of some tie-dye. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this one. So pretty. But if you want to win this in B6, again, just leave your favorite planner size down below. And you'll be entered to win it. Gorgeous. Love that. And then I also just ordered more of the SPC vertical jumbo inserts, which look like this in a five wide and then also i did order the monthly because i want to do some monthly planning for y'all so let me show you what that looks like and then this is more of the jumbo spc vertical inserts i'll show you these ones again because i don't ever want to run out and i'm using them for my i'm gonna sneeze for my main planner and for my work planner so definitely like to have a bunch on hand of those so let me get them back in the container why am i so bad at this oh there it goes Which is the wrong angle I feel like i'm gonna sneeze again and then i just have these little tabs that came with the tabs so i did get some of these for my planner as well Jumbo A5 wide dividers, the 12 piece set. Gorgeous, perfect, everything. And then that is everything that I got from Print Impression. I just have a teeny tiny Plana Hannah order here. I always say, like, I'm adding to my cart and I'm waiting until I have a lot to check out, but I'm like, she just hand delivers it to me. So I could just check out all the time. So we have the card. We have the freebies, which are these two. So this is a script. I think it was in this month or last month's font or I don't know. And Rose, or did I buy this? I might've bought this. I don't know. And then, or Rose Gold. And then this is my freebie. If you choose my code or put my name in the notes, you get this. And this is the matte gold, I believe. My freebie's changing soon, so be aware. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. And then there's this one, which is the regular all orders freebie, which is the ice shark, which I actually might use with the shark kit because I think it is so stinking perfect i love this color with it and i did a whole video on like different foils that match my kits and i didn't even think of ice with this one but it literally is a perfect match like she showed a bunch of different blues and i was like yeah, yeah. but i think that ice personally i don't know where the kit went it's in my lineup somewhere ice personally to me is like the right choice let me show you if you're gonna do a blue i think ice the tones are just right i love them and then I did pick up just two of the underlays. These are in Groovy Checker. And I I think I was going to get them in the color of the month. I have to reorder those because I think I just missed on up um, for the week of my mother-in-law's birthday. So this, but I am going to get them in, I think, the color of the month, which is like the gold sequin. I think that'd be really, really cute, but I can definitely use these other times. I think I can, wait, I think I can actually use them with another kit that I plan to use. Where she is, I don't know, but it'll definitely work. I can even use it with this kit. I was going to use, I think, Sparkly Hollow with this one, which is Sunny Days, so I might just put that with that one. So that is the Groovy Checker, and then I also just got some other random things that I needed. So I did pick up some things in Rainbow because I've just been loving Rainbow and I did a Rainbow spread and she, I had ordered this to go with the Rainbow spread, but then she actually gave me one in my last order. I don't know if you saw, but I was like, oh, perfect. Cause I actually needed that. So I did get 
um, four of the rainbow and these are just what I get in my sampler. It's super, super cute. Got four of those and then I also got the game icons in rainbow and this is just perfect. This is like beautiful and I'm going to actually use this with the kit that I'm using when I go to Gen Con, which is a game, like a board gaming conference and that is going to be in August and I'm using the Cyber Monday Mystery and I think that's gonna be perfect. And then I just got some things in like the font of the month, but it was like last month's font of the month, so sorry it's not available anymore. But this is the McDonald's Arc Nova because we play that weekly basically and then also the date numbers I thought would be perfect to have in this font as well. So that's everything for my teeny tiny little but mighty Plana Hannah order. I have an order here from the Plana Hannah, and this is one of my many orders. I just keep placing orders because I'm crazy. Let's go ahead and crank her open. So it has a journaling card, which actually I need to leave this out because I need to remember to do something. And then I have some things that are coming out, some things that I needed, and etc. So let me go ahead and show you. The all orders freebie. This is in black. This is the shark freebie. It's just the all orders freebie. This is my freebie. I think that there's only a couple of days. My freebie is going to change in June, which I'll be showing it to you. This is the only last few days to get this. If you put Andre in the notes or you use my code, which is always down below. Um, I'll show you all the new stuff next. Um, I have some things that I needed from a while back. We just got those. And then these are, er, did I buy this or was this a freebie? It's probably been a freebie. I think this is a freebie. This is the font of the month sampler in sparkly hollow. I think that was a freebie. And then I think I accidentally ordered each of these. Like I, I went to order one or the other and I ordered both. So I had confetti dots in um, the font of the month. And then I also have the sprinkles in the font of the, not the font, font of the month, the foil of the month. Realistically, I feel like if you were missing out on the font of the month, like headers, like small things like this, I feel like you could use her like pixie gold. They do look very similar when there's not a lot to be able to see the pattern. But I got this to use with my mother-in-law's birthday, uh, week spread, which is the, let me show you the, um, I think it was called like hip hip parade. this one and I haven't decided which I'm going to use because I do have some other things in here that I got to go along with it. I have the last month's font of the month in the foil of the month. I have these which are old but I think are the same foil color. The confettis which again I think I could have probably got like let's say I needed it after the font of the month was available I could have got them in like a go a pixie gold. The checker underlays, the flower two, bottom washi overlays and then I have these. I think I might end up going with just the confetti dots because I'm using that, but I have both now. And like I said, I think I can use those interchangeably with the like confetti gold. And then actually the other thing that I picked up because I was like, I was going to just use silver because I think that's the core I'm going with this kit. Um, or no, I'm doing a gold core, but I was like, oh, like header overlays, I could just use gold confetti. But I was like, might as well, while I'm picking up some other confetti headers, just get the autumn tie-dye ones, which I think goes perfectly with the September mystery kit. And then that is everything as far as what I ordered. And then let me show you my new... Oh, wait, no, just kidding. I ordered one more thing. So I initially didn't plan to use this art, this one here, June 5th to the 11th. I am going to be using... I don't... I, did I, already, I think I did a kit lineup of this. And I switched out. I switched out a lot. I switched out a lot. It's, my, it's, it's a problem. This is Under the Waves. And I wasn't going to use this kit initially. I was probably going to go see the movie. But I didn't need like a whole week dedicated to it. But then Hannah showed me her spread using the foil bundle um, that's currently available again. Well, I think actually, is she? I don't know if she's keeping it up or not. But we're going to be having another one coming out. So anyways, um, I think that this one's going to be going not 100% sure I'll have to ask her but anyway she showed me that spread like the base with shattered hollow I think it's called and I was like wait I need that so I went ahead and ordered it and I think that because this like kit is very like minimal and just like really pretty that this like more maximized foil bundle looks so good especially the bubble underlays are my favorite I told her I was like 
maybe you need to just bring back bubble underlays after this kit's no longer available because the bubbles are perfect 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 also got the add-on because like come on you need the whole thing so i'm gonna go ahead and put this with the under the waves set because it is everything and i feel like using them together is just the right 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 choice then let me show you my newest freebie. So starting, I believe, June 1st, it'll be on my Instagram. You can use my code or put Andre in the notes if there's already a sale and you will get this freebie. So go ahead and show it to you in rainbow because it's easiest to see. So you have some little board game icons, game night, a little meeple, a little uh, D20, some cards, a star, and then buy more board games. And then um, she just gave me one in the uh, foil of the month, which is this really pretty like rainbow tinsel and then the um like shattered which is the same one that I have the um, mermaid kit in so both of those and then let me show you the bundle she gave me one in the foil of the month which I think I'm going to use this the week that we go to Gen Con and then she also gave it to me in the shattered hollow so let's go through the main kit first so this is a meeple foil bundle which is great for board game kits I have on um, well, actually it's been, it's been announced that there is going to be a board game art collection coming out and I am so excited to use that art. And then we also have the Cyber Monday mystery from last year. I think this would go perfect with the, I'm sure I already have that in my setup for when Gen Con is this one. I think this would be perfect with this foil color, which is the, we go with regular rainbow, but I think that the like lined is really cool. It's like a tinsel rainbow. So this just has a bunch of meeples on it and mixed with stars. So you can mix it with stars to like kind of tone it down. Or you could keep it like full-blown meeples and stars. You have the underlays, which are really cool. You could totally layer these on top of something. Like eat like black bougie would be really cool to see that through the meeple designs. I just love these and I think it's so fun. You have the icons and script page. I just loved this script style, so I just left it as that. And then you have the um, fancy headers, which have meeples as well as stars. And then you have the underlays, the deco, and then the date numbers. And then the add-on, if you want to do that, is the regular circles, the meeples on the tall box, and I'd rather be playing board games. So there is that one, and I think my freebie goes along really well with it being game night themed. Then, uh, last but not least, let me just give you a little flippy, let me reorganize her, a little flippy flippy of the Shattered Hollow, which I think would maybe be fun based on what I've seen so far of the collection that is coming out. It is so stinking pretty. I love the underlays the most, probably, but like for freaking get about it so that is everything for my plan of hannah order remember if you order make sure to use my code or put my name in the notes so you can get a freebie and again these ones will start on june 1st and i believe that these are going to be available june 1st as well as the um, new foil of the month she actually i need her to get me the font of the month so i could show you all that too but that is everything for this bit one of everything from their last release i don't know if any of these are still available but we're gonna give them the good old sniff test i smell like an espresso or a coffee um this was the bluey collection these are so stinking you i love the colors very bluey energy just had a bluey birthday party so i feel like i'm very in the bluey zone so let's start at the top with this big old waffle this is muffin and socks which is key lime pie and zucchini bread y'all know i love anything with zucchini bread Ooh, it smells so good it almost smells like cereal whenever you put those together and i love that the next one in here is Healer House, which is cereal, milk, and zucchini bread. Also, I do have a coupon with Fantasy Rocks. It's always linked down below, so don't you forget. Ooh. Yeah, this one definitely smells, smells more cereally, but they definitely feel kind of like cousins. And I just love the way that cereal fills the room, and it just smells so, like, baked good, but also so clean with that, like, lemony scent. The next in here are some little paw prints, which is blueberry, raspberry, slushy, and lemonade, which is bluey. I feel like that's very bluey energy. Yes, it's very, very sweet, very fresh, very nice for the summer. The next one in here is bingo, which I love that, like, bluey and bingo. This is their, like, so cute. 
Um, this is Blonde Moment and Cotton Candy Frosting. That's perfect. Ooh. This smells like a candy I've smelled before or like a popsicle flavor. It smells so good. Again, very perfect for the summer. There's some snap bars in here, which is O Biscuits, which is Amaretto, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Coffee Bean. This is the coffee that I was smelling. To me, this mostly just smells like coffee with a very, very slight bit of almond to it. Very, very yummy. Perfect for my office. The next one here is Dance Mode, which is Strawberry Pound Cake, Summer Scoop, Fresh Picked Strawberries. Ooh, this one's a banger. It smells so good, so juicy. All the strawberry scents. That one is my favorite so far. The next one is Sleepy Time, which is Blue Sugar, Lavender Mallow, and Birthday Cake. And the donuts. Ooh, this is a gorgeous scent. This is what I want my laundry room to smell like. I've been melting like Rose Girls, like I think it's called like Super Clean or like Laundry Clean or Deep Clean. And I don't know if I like like laundry detergent scents. I think this is what I want my laundry room to smell like, which is just like goodness. I feel like the blue sugar with the lavender mallow kind of like makes the lavender not as like crazy, but then the birthday cake smooths the whole thing out and it just smells perfect. And the next one in here is a big cake slice, which is duck cake, which is salted caramel, vanilla pound cake, and cornbread. Ooh. This one to me smells mostly just like cornbread and I am here for it. Maybe like a slightly more buttery cornbread. D freaking licious. A little bun, which is chili, which is apple pecan pancakes. It's so cute. Ooh. This is so good. You really smell the apple. It's almost like a either a green apple or like a really crisp, like you just cracked open an apple, like you cut it open and you smell it. That's what it smells like. Mixed with like a, like a pecan, just like a pecan and syrup kind of scent. It smells so good. The next butt in here is Bandit, which again, I love that they're like the, the like same shapes, different colors. And Blueberry Cobbler, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Zucchini Bread. Ooh. This one's good too. Usually I don't like blueberry too much, but I think mixed with pumpkin, pecan, waffles, and zucchini bread, that is a vibe. Then we have a mini chunk. This is Here Comes the Grannies, oh my God, which is lemon curd, tea and cakes, and sweet bakery dough. Mm. I usually don't like lemon curd, but I feel like with the tea and cakes, it's really, really good. And then the sweet bakery dough, I think just like creams it all up and just makes it perfect. And then this one is for real life, which is magenta magic, which I have heard like everyone talking about magenta magic, like in the samplers and I haven't smelled it. So I don't even know what like magenta magic is supposed to be. So this would be very interesting for me to give it a sniff. Mm, it has pineapple in it, right? Yeah, I don't know about it. Is it pineapple and something even sweeter? I don't know, like what? Let me look up. Magenta magic scent oil. It almost smells like cotton candy or something. Cotton candy and pineapple. Um, let's see, magenta magic. Dragon fruit, pineapple, and tropical berries. Yeah, so it's like it's like a sweet tropical fruit. Not my fave because I don't like pineapple. But Nick likes pineapple, so that will be for sure melted in his office. And then last but certainly not least, I have no self-control. And I went in for the pre-order. This is my pre-order order from Fantasy Wax. But here's the thing. Whenever Kirsten puts these scents together, maybe she should pick not as good scents so that my orders aren't crazy. But she picks all the most amazing scents, and then here I am with a bazillion things. I mean, and this was me having self-control. Hold me zoom out a little bit. This was me having self-control. I mean, it could be could be worse. So I got loaves of all the things that I was like, I need it. Blackberry jam, butter cookies, and vanilla pound cake. I just love blackberry jam, butter cookies. Put it with anything. You're going to be sold on it for me. And a loaf was the perfect amount. And it smells so freaking good. Mm. You ever see anything from Fantasy Box with it in it? Get it. You won't regret it. Yellow cake, mallow fluff, sugar cookie. Again, yellow cake is another one that put it anything together with it. I'm going to buy it. 
It smells so good. This one's definitely more of a like subdued scent on cold, but like Sugar Cookie Royale, it really comes alive on warm. The next one here is Pretzel Yellow Cake and Buttercream Frosting. And again, I love yellow cake. I've been coming around to pretzel. Mm hmm It smells just like a like creamier, creamier, sweeter pretzel, and that's delicious. The next thing in here is Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Old Town Bake Shop. Cupcakes at Tiffany's is everything to me, so yeah. Another one that this is like very much so I feel like a sugar cookie royale cousin. So good and nice like vanilla with like a little bit more of a buttery tone. The next one in here is apple cinnamon zucchini bread sugar cinnamon sugar donut, which is, this is like me if I was a fall scent. Mm-hmm. 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 So good. I love apple cinnamon. It's a good one. Apple cinnamon, apple fritter, anything like that. Sign me up with zucchini bread and a, and a sugar donut of any sort. 10 out of 10. The freebie in here was orange creamsicle. I totally forgot to go through that. It's nice. It's definitely a fruity scent. So like I usually am not like super big on fruity scents, but Nick will probably love this. Like I feel like I'll probably comment on how much he likes it. And it's just perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I did get some of the larger chunk bags. So we'll go through those first. So I did get Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Mallow. This is so good. I'm probably going to melt this in the laundry room. This is another one that I just wish my laundry room smelled like this. Like the more like perfumey cologne -y scents that have like a slight bakery note to them. I just feel like are perfect. So that'll be great for a lot of days in the laundry room. Brown sugar, pound cake, and pretzel. I figured I didn't need two pretzel like loaves. So I decided to get this one in the mini chunks. And that was a perfect choice. The next thing in here is almond pastries and pie crust so freaking good you can really smell the pie crust in this one it's just delicious the next one here is cinnamon rolls tea and cake and marshmallow fireside i think this might have been one from hannah's and it's so good you really get like a little bit of cinnamon you get a little bit of the tea and cakes and you get a little of that like toasted marshmallow delicious and then i did get two of the mini chunks i got pistachio pudding cake and cornbread this is perfect for like one day in my living room mmm I should have got more of this. It's so good. I mostly just uh, sp smell pistachio pudding cake, but that cornbread just gives it a little bit more of a yeasty note. And then lastly is lemon pound cake zucchini bread. Mm -hmm. This one I feel like I just have so much like lemon pound cake zucchini bread type scents together. But I was like, I need at least one little, one little bundle of it to have. And these are all going to go in my curing bins and probably be in there for like nine months. So when I get to them, y'all, I'm going to be so excited, so happy. And I just want to say thank you, Kirsten. You're the best. You're the most amazingest ever. And I am so excited for all of this. I'm always just so excited. Even if the scents aren't for me, I'm like, I wonder how Nick's going to like this. Like, it's going to smell so good whenever he walks in there. And like, or sometimes I'll put like fruity scents out, especially in the summer. Like if I have people coming over, I'll put in a fruity scent or something like that. So even when I don't love a scent, it's still just exciting to see kind of like, okay, or I could pair it with something to kind of change it into something I do like. But Fantasy Box is always just bangers. They always perform so well for me. Again, I always have my coupon code down below. And if you're looking for a warmer to warm Fantasy Wax with, I would recommend a Happy Wax Warmer. I feel like they work the best with all waxes all around because they, in my experience, get the hottest out of all of the wax warmers. There's a couple on Amazon that are like no brand that get pretty hot. But overall, I say that the most consistent performer is the Happy Wax Warmer if you are looking for that you can check amazon or their website as well so that's everything from me for right now got a freebie oh my gosh you guys were in my drawer so i got a rose girls order a pre-order or that sounded horrible before this i'll cut it out but if not i'll leave it in this is jumping on salt water taffy clouds this one this one and another one reminded me of something i've smelled in like the 90s i couldn't put my finger on it it's not horrible scent wise. It's just like fruity, but I don't know if it's a little coconutty or a little vanilla y, but it's not bad. I probably will melt this in the bathroom, or not the bathroom, the laundry room maybe. But it's a good one. It's not horrible. 
The next one is chocolate chip cookie carbs. And this is chocolate chip cookies, donuts, sugar cookies, and bread. And this one smells so stinking good. I didn't smell the sampler, but I smelled these. It smells like a very artificial chocolate chip cookie. And it's going to be good on warm. I could just tell you that right now based on how it smells on cold. And it's very, very potent on cold as well. The next one here is strawberry cookie land which is strawberry pound cake and confetti cake, toffee butterscotch pretzels and cookies. Yes, this one's a bomb.com. Should have gotten more of it. I barely smell the strawberry pound cake, but I think it just adds like a little bit of a fresh sweet to the very savory sweet. And then last but not least for the larger bags, I got tea and crumpets, another one that was so good. This is tea and cup of cake. This one, again, reminds me of something from the 90s, but it mostly just smells like, it almost smells like the, the almond and pistachio cakes that Hannah makes. It's just so good. And let's get into my sampler bag, because this is going to be good. In this organza bag. Give me 10 years to open it. I have not opened it thus far. It's very early in the morning, in case you wanted to know. Okay. So this is just a sampler. And the samplers vary, so if they like bring these back, they might be different scents. Just beware. This one is frosted blue, and these are like perfect for like my office or like the laundry room as far as like amount goes. So this is frosted blue sugar birthday cake and pink sugar marshmallow fireside. Sounds good. Ooh, that's really good. So it's blue sugar, pink sugar, Marshall Voss and birthday cake. Mmm, that one is real good. I would probably try and like dupe that from K's because the reason why I would dupe it is because a lot of Rose Girl scents, like I've been waiting for straight carbs to come back for like seven, nine months now and it just hasn't. So Netflix and Chill, which I've had before, which is pistachio and, and crunch donuts. This one is just like a really, really amazing pistachio scent. Then we have lemon streusel cushion, which I think I've had strawberry and maybe like zucchini bread or something version of this. It's good. It smells like, it smells kind of like a lemon um, curd, which I'm not super excited about, but I'll melt it in the laundry room. Peanut butter and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Interesting combo. Smells good. It almost smells like peanut butter fudge, sort of, but like a little artificial, but I'm excited to give that a melt. That one be good. Big Witch Energy, which is espresso, espresso, and Secret Witch Brew. My father-in-law's here. Smells good. Blueberry cookie butter, cheesecake. That one I'll have to melt in my office for sure. This one's blue, blueberry pumpkin patch, whipped cream, extra cookie butter, and cheesecake. This one really doesn't smell like anything, which is kind of weird, but I'm excited to give it a go. Kiwi, coconut, cake pops, and peeps cake. Ooh, this one's very fruity. I'll probably melt this one in Nick's office, which I need to see what's wrong with Nick's melter because it hasn't been turning on. Strawberry cotton candy cookie land, strawberry pound cake, cotton candy frosting, confetti cake, toffee butterscotch pretzels, cookies. Ooh, this one smells really good. It smells, I don't really smell strawberry. I more just smell like a cotton candy pretzel cake scent. Kind of like the strawberry cookie land, but this one's a little bit fruitier. Apple cinnamon chai sugar cookie dough. Oh God, that smells, sounds really good. Yeah, that one's really, really nice. I love me an apple cinnamon, and this is just like a perfect fall scent. I'll probably put that in my fall drawer. Apple fritter cream cheese wackadoodle again. Ugh. It's actually very light on the apple fritter, but I'll definitely still probably put that in the fall drawer as well. Tootsie Roll ooh, Cafe, or Tootsie Roll Latte Cookie Land. I don't know about Tootsie Roll. It's not bad. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I like these like samplers because they're not like a big commitment. Cinnamon sticks and marshmallow smoothie and sugar vanilla waffle cone. That's like very, very just cinnamon sticks to me but it does smell good, it's probably good for fall. Cinnamon roll donut holes. Ooh, this one's really nice though. You can really smell like the donut hole. I'd also like that as a single scent oil, but I feel like they rarely do anymore, uh, single scent oils, 
banana cream pie and vanilla bean noel yeah i don't know about that i'm probably gonna give this one to hannah because she likes rose girls banana but that my friends is everything we are here with a wax haul bit from fantasy wax kirsten gifted me one of everything but then i went ahead and ordered a couple that i needed multiple of so let me go ahead and show you the one i have one of everything of so first things first and this was the like i think it was what is my i don't my camera's just like not like doing the autofocus thing okay there it goes um berry lemony which is blackberry jam butter cookies and lemon pound cake i should have gotten more of these i feel like that was like an odd one for me not to um but these were like voted back like customer blends this one smells super good it's very summer fruity but like in the best way and i know that i will love 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 this it's so good next one here is summer breeze which is watermelon and salty sea air i can't tell if like my camera's just like having trouble focusing or what maybe she needs like wiped off maybe y'all need a little a little zhuzh maybe no, she's really just doing it. I feel like that's, or is my eyeballs not focusing? Hold on. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> this one, I think it's because there's so much stuff in the frame. There we go. Summer Breeze, which is watermelon, salty sea air. I think this will be perfect for the laundry room. Let me give her a little snippy. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect for the laundry room. Next one is Slurp, which is strawberry, raspberry, guava, fizzy pop. Yeah, I don't know. Let me just zoom in. There we go. This one is very fruity. I think this one will definitely be perfect for Nick's office. The next one is watermelon ice cream, which is watermelon and ice cream scoop bread. Mmm, this one's really good. This one is one that I would probably even melt in the living room. It is like a really creamy vanilla-y watermelon scent. And then the next one here is zucchini bread, which is zucchini bread and buttery caramel. It's just exactly what it what it says zucchini and caramel love that the next one is bring it back which is french baguette and brown sugar I freaking love snap bars too mm, so good so bready so yeasty then these ones i have two of this is oxford circus which is tea and cakes lemon pound cakes and iced almond cookies so freaking good to me it mostly just smells like 50 percent tea and cakes 50 percent lemon pound cake but i love her the next one in here is Dr. Peas, which is tea and cakes, pistachio, and zucchini bread, which I love all of that. Super good. It smells, almost smells kind of like Green Machine by Sassy Girl Roma. Delicious. I have three of these. Lila broke one. That was not broken when I got it. It is baking with Barbie, which is strawberry white cake, pink sugar, and zucchini bread. This one sounds phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I just love pink sugar so much and mixed with like savory bakery scents. It is everything. That one I could use a whole loaf of. The next one is one that was created by Hannah and is Coffee by the Fire. This is Coffee Ice Cream Mar Malo, Mar Mar Malo Fireside and Sugar Cookie Royale. Mm -hmm. This is like a really good like for me like a fall scent. It doesn't smell like super coffee. It just has like the slight hint of it which I think kind of blends really well with the Malo Fireside just to be kind of like a smoky coffee essence and then otherwise it's just like a really nice sweet scent so i have four of those and then i also have four of the next one which is bakery goodness and this one is pretzel and zucchini bread i mean like it doesn't get better than that i have been converted into a pretzel gal so i'm in love and then last but not least the one that i wish i would have gotten like literally about all of them is milk and cookies and this is sugar milk cook sugar cookie royale and vanilla frosting and this smells so delicious. I want a loaf or 12 of this. It's like a sugar cookie royale cousin, but like I think a little bit butterier and milkier. And it's so freaking good. So that's everything from Fantasy Wax. D freaking licious. I think that's everything for my haul. Possibly. We will see.